things are about to get super natural up in here. What's up everybody, I'm Kelsey and I thought it'd be funny to have a baby with every townie in The Sims 4. So far, I've done Willow Creek and Oasis Springs, but this time I thought let's mix it up with some of our favorite occult Sims, specifically the Sims from Forgotten Hollow and Moonwood Will. Vampires from Forgotten Hollow are so iconic. And despite the fact that I've had plenty of babies with Vlad, I actually haven't had any babies with the Vitor family. So I'm very interested to see what's going on. We couldn't include vampires without the werewolves. Which occult has the better babies, vampires or werewolves. Let's hop into it. All right, so as usual, we're beginning with our lovely Chelsea and Peach Schmay. She's looking gorgeous. She's ready to have kids as usual. But first we're going to add some households into hers to see what babies are made. So let's check out Moonwood Mill and begin with the Volkov family. The Volkov family, of course, including Christopher Volkov, Jacob Volkov, and Lily Zoo. So we'll include all three of them. And let's see what babies we can make. Chelsea He's ready to go. We're gonna begin with Christopher Volokov. I believe he's the leader of his pack. He's also a werewolf, but he is family oriented and a perfectionist. He's also given a bit of silver fox vibes. I really like his kind of two-toned hair, his grungy aesthetic. All right, let's see what Christopher and Chelsea have up there. Oh, okay. All right, almost makes me want to give them a son, but I have been doing girls up until now, so I'll keep going. All right, oh, she's cute. I think that this could really go well. So as always, we're gonna randomize three times just to see what our random baby is going to look like. All right, so drum roll, please. All right, we randomize once. Oh, okay. It's really aggressive with the flames for the werewolf. Randomize two times. This child is not a werewolf. And randomize three. We had a non-werewolf together. Oh my gosh, only like one out of three. Although I think this Sim is so cute. She's so cute. Like no notes, Christopher Volokov Jr. Oh my gosh, you're such a cutie patootie. I love her. Okay, let's just pop like a couple little skin details on just for the vibes, nothing crazy. Yeah, I think she's so pretty. Okay, dang, I like the hair, a oh, fantastic fantastic profile. Okay, Christopher. I did not realize he had such good genes. We are off to a pretty good start. She looks like a really good mixture of the two parents, which makes me really happy. She's got like Chelsea's hair, but I think she has his eye color. No, maybe she has Chelsea's eye color. I'm not quite sure. What eye color do you have? Christopher. Oh, she, okay. She has Chelsea's eye color and Chelsea's hair. She has closer to his skin tone. Again, the Sims kind of mixes together a little bit for the skin tone. So it's not quite the same skin tone as her dad, but a little bit closer. She has her father's nose, which I really like. Seems like she has her father's eyes. Her eyebrow game, strong, perfect. Didn't have to do anything. Christopher Gwolgov really making it well on us and not giving us a werewolf. That's one point for the werewolves. Congratulations, werewolf. Let's see if you can keep up this winning streak. We got next Jacob Volokov, who is actually a teenager. So you have been disqualified. I'm sorry, Jacob. You are beautiful. I think you'd give us good genes, but for the rules of this game, you have to be legal. So goodbye. All right. And last but not least of this family, oh, is Lily Zoo. Lily Zoo, an elderly queen, also a werewolf. Let's see if you give us a beautiful werewolf child, just like our friend Kristoff. All right, so let's have our teenage daughter with Lily. I'm gonna randomize it once. Okay, I'm gonna randomize it twice. Oh, man, a this was a werewolf, and I'm gonna randomize it a third time. She kind of looks a lot like Chelsea. I'm gonna randomize a fourth time. Okay. I can't tell if I like this one or the one before it. You know what, we'll stick to it because I mostly like that she's a werewolf. Her eyebrows are very arch. She looks kind of surprised to be here. The side profile is fine. I would say she's maybe not my favorite Sim. Oh, all my Sims look cuter with my custom content. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm like, oh, you put that on? Nice little layer and ba bow. I mean, look at that. She's really growing on me here. Okay, yeah, no note. She's giving Tinkerbell and I love that for her. She definitely has similar coloring to Chelsea. Really prominent cheekbones. I'm not getting a lot of Lily Zoo in Lily Zoo Jr. To be honest, she's just really leaning really heavily with Chelsea, but she's cute and she's a werewolf. That's two daughters down from the werewolf hack. So far, so 
good werewolves, but we do have one more pack to do. I downloaded all of the characters that are still from the pack, but not actually placed to the world. And I put them in the world so I could add them to my family. So we've got another round to do. We've got Wolfgang Wilder. I think that's Celine. She's like the bartender. And then we got Lou Howell, a classic. He's a gorgeous man. I feel like we're gonna have great babies together. These are arguably the more iconic of the Sims, in my opinion. I'm gonna start with Wolfgang. Wolfgang Wilder, such a handsome man. Those light eyes. He's like tall, dark, and handsome vibes. And I love to see it. Plus those light eyes are absolutely gorgeous. We gotta be having a good looking Sim with this townie. I think I've had a baby with Wolfgang and Chelsea before, actually. I've had one in my 100 infant challenge. I feel pretty strongly that we're gonna have a good looking child here. All right, here's round one. Oh my gosh, she took my breath away. She's so pretty. Oh my gosh, she looks like so friendly too. She's just got such a great smile. That was one. Number two. Oh my God, she's beautiful. And this sim actually has the same skin tone of her father, which I absolutely adore. Okay, in round three. Okay, and she is also rocking some beautiful lipstick. I think I'm gonna stick with this one, but honestly, I loved all three of them and I would have loved to given any of them a makeover. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. The light eyes and the hair. I mean, no notes, honestly. The red lip, I mean, is working for me. I don't even feel like I should change that. Let's add some skin details. Oh my gosh. Gosh, she's so stunning. <laughs> How's her profile? Her profile's okay. Not bad, not bad. I think Wolfgang Jr. might be my favorite. And she even has the cutest dress that brings out her eyes. And she has matching shoes. Wolfgang Jr. came to play. Absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, no notes. Honestly, I don't think the vampires can be any more attractive than the werewolves. I just don't think there's any way. That's what I'm gonna guess. I mean, like, look at Christopher Jr. and Wolfgang Jr. Like, you can't, these are, these are sims that cannot be best. They are gorgeous. I really thought I was gonna get a lot of random looking Sims with this kind of experiment, but for the most part, we got some good looking Sims up in here. All right, so next up, we're going to go with Rory. All right, Rory Oaklow. Rory's the leader of one of the werewolf packs in Moonwood Mill. She is not to be trifled with. She's also pretty fierce in terms of aesthetic as well. She's looking good. Rory with the blue hair. I'm hoping that our child has some blue hair as well. Rory, it seems like is giving on this really squared jaw, which is kind of fun. But let's check out our three randomizations. Okay, first up. Okay, a cutie pie. Second. Okay, all right. Very squared jaw. Okay, third. How is this my least favorite of them? How is this my, oh, okay. Well, they can't all be winners, right? It's The Sims and it is randomized. I can't really put my finger on what exactly. I just don't think any, maybe of the accessories really enhance her features. Oh, and, this, and the side profile's okay. There's something odd going on with her EA lashes. Maybe if I take the lashes off, it's gonna improve. Okay, yeah, I think it's better without the lashes. Okay, she's getting cuter with my custom content, honestly. In custom content, we trust. I like the shape of her face. I don't like this hairstyle. It's from the vampires pack, which is like, girl, you're wearing some vampire hair. We're rocking some blonde, but her mom has the kind of wolf cut vibes. She looks great with that, with Rory's haircut, but in the blonde. I think I might keep that. It's a sleigh. That's the power of CC lashes and a cute little hairstyle. Really can pull the whole thing together. And honestly, I think it kind of works with the dress. Rory came to play. Rory Jr., not so bad. I really do like her kind of goldeny brown eyes. And I really like her face shape. I think her face shape's like really unique and cool. Rory Jr., I think you nailed it. But our time is over. Thank you very much. What a fun little squad. I feel like this is so fun. Next up, we have Celine Lopez. Look at the freckles on this one. And that hair, I'm obsessed. Celine is a very cute Sim. She just has this unique, face shape and hair and she's got this like scar up the side of her face. I don't know. I think she's awesome. But let's randomize this daughter. We got a one. Okay. We got a two. Okay. We got a three. 
You know, I think both Celine and Chelsea are cute. I don't know if their features really go well together. I just don't think the sim is very proportional. That's okay. We're gonna do our best. It's just a lot going on. Maybe it's the brows though, you know? Who knows? A good different brow and a nice little skin detail and the sims just really, really come together. So let's see. See, looking so cute. I like the face shape. I really like the eye color. I love the face, honestly. It's just something about how large the Sims head is in comparison to her body type. I feel like if someone had a larger head in real life, I never notice. Maybe the Sims are just more cartoonish looking and they don't look as natural in general. Maybe that's part of it. Well, let's pick a different short haircut. She's cute in all of these short haircuts. That one's so cute. Okay, I think I might do this curly haired look. I I think I'm vibing this. Okay, so this is Celine Lopez Jr. I came around to you. At first I was like, oh no. But now I'm like, oh yeah. You're looking cute. Am I just complimenting my own work because I gave this sim makeover? Maybe. But all my children are beautiful. Last, but certainly not least, let's hop in and have a baby with Lou Howell. I feel like he's a lot of people's crush. A lot of people have been loving on Lou Howell. Oh my gosh, just a beautiful, beautiful specimen of a sim man. Love Lou Howell. Very excited to have a baby with him. Boom, already a beautiful child. I think Lou's child might be one of my favorites, although I don't think you could top Wolfgang's daughter, to be honest, but let's try them. One, she is so cute. All right, two, okay, and three, fine. Okay, she's got some style, Lou Jr. We got a lot more werewolves than I thought we would. I like the glasses, I like the haircut. She looks like a cool girl. She looks like the kind of girl that I would meet and immediately be like a little intimidated by, but in mostly a good way. Why does she seem to have like green hair? Yeah, okay, it was messed up. It looked so cool though. I want her to go back to having colored hair. So maybe we'll have to look for some hair like that. But she also had like some cute hair from the pack. I like how shaggy it is. The upturned nose is so fun. She's very doll-like in her appearance to me somehow. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I should give her her glasses and her nose ring back though, cause she was rocking it. I feel like she deserves it. So we're gonna give her her nose ring back, or at least a nose ring that I approve of. We're gonna do this one. Then we're gonna give her her glasses back. Oh wow, that's so cute. Lou Jr. is a cool girl. I do not like these pants. I'm gonna change the pants. I almost never touch their outfits, but. Okay, Lou Howell Jr., go off. Very cute. So we have Christopher Volkov Jr. She's so cute. Next we have Lily Jr. She's a sprite. She was a fairy. Now we have Wolfgang Jr., an absolute stunner, heartbreaker, model, movie star, mega watt gorgeousness. Rory Jr., cool girl, looking good. Celine Jr., I feel like Celine Jr. could play like Puck in Midsummer Night's Dream. She's just got that vibe to her. And then we've got Lou Jr. Howell, that cool girl in your art history class that is so kind, but you're also very intimidated because she's just so cool. The werewolves came to play. They said, we brought the jeans. I love them all. I love all my children equally. Now it's time to see what the vampires have. I have a feeling their jeans are not gonna fit as well. It's a little jean pun for you. First, we'll begin in Forgotten Hollow with the Vitor family, Lilith and Caleb. Come on down. Lilith, I might just hate her hair style and her makeup. I feel like Lilith might be a secret sleeper hit for me. Caleb, I think will have good jeans. They're both very pale, which which sometimes look fantastic and sometimes does not. Being a pearl girl myself, I feel like I am allowed to say that. <laughs> Sometimes it really works and sometimes it's not working at all. And that's me day to day. Sometimes my pail is working for me and sometimes I'm like, oh girl, I look like a light stick on a beach. <laughs> all good though. <laughs> Let's start with Lilith Vitor. Randomized once. All right, all right. Randomized twice. Oh, I like this Sim. I feel like she's so cute. Randomized three times. Okay, this Sim's okay. She's not quite as cute as the one before. I kind of want to do this one. I think she looks fun. We're going to do this one. Did I cheat? Yes. I just don't have a really good feeling about the rest of the vampires. And I feel like the vampires are owed at least one really beautiful sip. Werewolves have just more characters to work with too. There's only three vampires, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. I really thought there'd be more. Lilith Jr. I honestly want to say no notes. I think she's very pretty. Profile looking good. I don't love her eye makeup to be honest, but I also think it's working for her. So 
I don't feel like we need to change it. Let's get these lashes off her and add some cuter lashes. I think she's looking good. She's got kind of these gray eyes. I like her spunky haircut and her red lip. Perfect brows, good bone structure. This is a good looking sim. She looks great. For some reason, she looks like she could be on the television show Once Upon a Time. I do not have an explanation as to why I feel that way. I just feel that way very strongly. And there you have it. <laughs> All right, next up, we're gonna have a baby with Caleb Vitor. He's our emo king, and I'm excited to see what our child looks like together. Let's randomize our daughter here. We got one. Okay, looks a lot like the girl we just had, Lilith Jr. Randomize two. Okay, that also looks like a sim we've already had. Randomize three, come on. Oh, okay, okay. She definitely got her father's jeans coming in there. Caleb Jr. looks a lot like Caleb Sr. That side profile is pretty good, pretty good. She's got kind of like a crescent moon shaped chin, but honestly, I feel like my chins looks like that too a little bit. So no hate there. At least she has a chin. Me and my weird obsession with chins. There's just so much I've learned about me while doing this experiment. And some of these things I don't know if I wanted to know about myself. Very doll-like. I feel like she would slay in a period piece drama, but she also would probably play the little girl who's like sickly, but also is the heart of the family. Or maybe she's possessed. It's it's one or the other. She's either possessed or she's the heart of the family. The sickly little girl trope goes one of those two ways. <laughs> But this girl, Caleb Jr. could play that role and she would eat it. She would leave no crumbs. She's looking great. She also could really pull off a very good Wednesday Adams cosplay. And I love that for her. Looking good, girl. Lilith Jr. I do think is probably the superior sister only because I just like her style. Vitors, thank you for your contribution to this experiment. It was lovely having you. Let's move on and add in our final sim. The one we've all been waiting for. Or Vladdy Daddy. Count Vladislav Stroud the fourth. I will say of all the Sims, I think Vladdy Daddy does produce the most random looking children. Vladdy Daddy has some really, really distinct over the top facial features. He has these very intensely arched brows. He has a very strong lines with his face. He's got a very prominent hooked nose, very long prominent chin, a very prominent brow, sunken eyes that are also kind of like large and a little afraid looking, a very permanent frown, long and narrow face. A lot going on here for a face. Not saying it's any of these things are intrinsically bad. But in terms of Vladdy Daddy, he's just got a lot of bold going on. It's not like he's got one bold feature. It's every feature is bold. An expressive looking face. Now, when in combination with other Sims, sometimes it just looks ridiculous. So we're gonna have a good time seeing what my Sims look like. Did I mention that he looks like a corpse because he is so gray? <laughs> Which, you know, he's a vampire, so it makes sense. Let's see how we go here. We got one. Okay, she is a vampire. This is possibly one of the most normal looking Sims I've seen produced by Laddie Daddy. So let's see the second one. Oh, okay. She really takes after her dad, interesting. Oh, okay. This is our third. I think this is honestly not that bad. I don't think she's that bad at all. And she's also a vampire. Okay, girl. All right. Let's give her some different brows. I always go and end up using the same brows because I love them. I'm going to take away her makeup for now. Give her some skin details. I honestly, I think it's kind of working for her. I like a prominent nose. I think her nose is kind of my favorite. Do I like Vlad's child? I was really expecting this would be the one that I'd go, oh, oh, she can't be helped. This girl, get this girl a modeling contract. She's cool. Her face is very angular. I think it's not bad at all. And she's got some very big eyes, which is fun. And they don't look like over the top, like his eyes where they're like, nah. I'm gonna give her a bit of a different hair style just for fun. Maybe even give her some custom content hair. I haven't been giving any of my Sims custom content hair in a minute. Oh, wow, she's so pretty. Wow, actually, I'm pretty impressed. I did not expect this. Wouldn't you know it? Does she still look like a little bit vampiric? Yes, but she is a vampire, so that makes sense. Does she have any funky teeth? She's like vampire teeth. 
No, she has normal teeth. She looks like she could be a character on Freeform or the CW, like the Vampire Diaries. It's the same thing, but you get it. I am impressed. I really thought the vampires would not bring their A game and they did. Lilith Jr. is looking great. Vlad Jr. surprisingly normal looking, despite all to the contrary about Vlad's face. Caleb Vitor, she's cute. There's nothing to report. She looks like just a normal girl. These all look like normal kids. Team Werewolf really brought the noise. I think I'm gonna have to give it to Team Werewolf. Christopher Jr., Wolfgang Jr., Lou Jr. Those Sims are just spectacular. They're so good. This round is all werewolf for me. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see this video again in which neighborhood I should do next. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!